So what I found fascinating about this movie is, you know, we say the planet's called Earth, but 70%, just over 70%, is covered in water, yet so much of it remains to be discovered. Mm. And this was kind of like it transported us to another world. It was almost like an alien world underneath the ocean that is yeah. yet to be discovered. So I find it really fascinating. Mm. Uh, can we start at the beginning and talk a little bit about why you suggested your character shave her head? <laughs> sure. Um, well, I mean, the director was really, to be honest, I don't know who came up with it first. Mm -hmm. I think pra practically speaking, getting in and out of that suit six or seven times a day, whether it was myself or the actual character who would ha had to have gone out and worked on the underwater oil rig as an engineer, which is silly. It takes 15 minutes to get in and 15 minutes to get out. And the idea of having to like brush your hairs back and like can't get your hand up into the, th I was just like, no hair. And then I thought it might just w be a really cool excuse to shave your head, which I never really had the opportunity to do before that. And also my character is someone who in the beginning of the movie starts off <clears throat> um, kind of inaccessible and remote and you wonder why she's like not more available or you don't know more about her story. Um, and uh, like halfway through the movie you realize that she's kind of not treating herself very well and isolating completely because she's kind of in the midst of a grieving process. And so I thought it, it kind of just fit and made my life a lot easier and gave me this cool excuse to shave my head. It was very cool. <laughs> Um, now talk a little bit about uh, most of this movie is set underwater and you're traversing across the bottom of the ocean floor. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like as an actor to film the it's a dry for wet look? Yes, yeah, some of the actors in the movie actually probably would have preferred to be underwater. Uh, you become kind of weightless. I am so terrified by the prospect of getting into a 100 pound suit and then submerging myself into water. Like it's really loud in the suits and like it's hard to breathe because the pressure is kind of heavy. I'm like really claustrophobic. I'd rather do anything but that. Like you could just ask me to do anything and I would do it except for that. Um, so it was hard to have such weight on your shoulders without the help of the water a lot of the times. And we were kind of like trudging through, like running through like dugout sand trenches and quite often not in the suits. We were like buried under rubble. Um, it was either really freezing or really hot. Um, the whole movie's so deeply uncomfortable. Uh, none of it was like hard, hard to scratch at because it was like, super legit, we were all dying. I would like look over at like my fellow actors and be like, I would just see like lifeless, like squinty, blinky eyes looking back at you like, well, maybe the, you know, maybe the movie will be kind of good then. You know what I mean? We really look. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it's, like, it, legit. it's full yeah. on and it jumps straight into the action. Yeah. And you can see that like, I mean, your character, she doesn't give up. Like there's mm. so many opportunities for her to yeah. just say like, I mean, they're up against so much. Yeah. What is it that you personally admire about your character in portraying this role? Uh, well, n my character Nora starts off in the beginning as somebody who sort of has like nothing to lose. And so the sort of lack of emotion and, and lack of anxiety is actually what is able to propel her to a point that she then realizes once it feels like her life is actually very much um, at stake, she realizes how silly it is to think that there isn't something to hold on to. Um, so what I like about the character is that, you know, at first it's just sort of like, uh, you know, she's so strong, she's like trudging through like nothing matters. And then really once she realizes that it, that it, that it, it all is, is very weighted, that life is precious, that there's something, you know, worth fighting for. Uh, that she puts her life on the line for other people, that she would do anything to get herself out, that it's sort of all of a sudden like, uh, the urgency of, of how, how great it is to be human strikes her. And the movie is simple in that. It's really based, it's like really fundamental in, in that idea. It's not about much much more than that. Um, but that but that feeling alone is, is uh, really inspiring. Wow, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate thank it. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.